Godzilla in 3D. This movie looks amazing. I hope this movie is. I hope this movie's good. That's all. Really hope this movie is as good as it looks. So let's go in. I was genuinely disappointed by Godzilla King of Monsters, but let's review this at home. Alright guys, so I did see Godzilla King of the Monsters. I did see it in 3D. I really wanted to watch it in IMAX, but unfortunately I didn't have a ride to my IMAX theater for today. So I just stuck with the 3D version at my uh, regular theater. So I will be talking about the 3D and how effective it was and whether it's worth it or not after my review of the movie itself. But anyways, um, Godzilla King of the Monsters one of my most anticipated movies of not just the summer but one of my most anticipated movies of the year um that trailer that dropped at comic-con last year was stunning i love that trailer so much and i remember seeing that trailer for the first time in theaters before mission impossible fallout last summer and it was it, it was something seeing that trailer on the big screen with surround sound just gave me goosebumps and it was just a surreal thing when i saw it um, and every other trailer, for, you know, ever since that trailer, and every other trailer leading up to this movie was just fantastic. Um, again, I, I thought that this movie looked amazing, and I really wanted this movie to be good. Uh, so, yeah, there's basically a backstory of how hyped I was for this movie. So, uh, before I get talking about my actual opinion about the actual movie itself, uh, Let's uh, talk a little bit about the story. Of course, we have Monarch here. Uh, they're going to have to deal with Godzilla again with the addition of Ghidorah, uh, which, you know, the three-headed monster. And uh, But in their way, they, they, there's these people who have their own agenda in which they think by releasing all these monsters, they're going to make the world a better place to live in. So when the 2014 Godzilla movie came out, I was 12 years old. Keep that in mind. And all I wanted from that movie was some cool Godzilla action fight scenes. And that's all I wanted from that movie. And I remember watching the movie and walking out of that movie disappointed because I only got about 15 or 20 minutes of Godzilla overall. But I still thought it was a good movie, just that I didn't like it as much because it didn't have, you know, all that cool Godzilla action that I wanted. And I recently rewatched the movie earlier today for the first time in a few years um, before watching this movie. And I actually appreciate the movie a lot more, you know, being a lot more older. I appreciate the movie a lot more. Uh, I enjoy the movie a lot more. And I kind of love the movie a lot more. Uh, it's something that that first movie does so right is that it sets up its stories. It sets up the characters. And because of that, there's some tension within the third act of the movie that really works really well. Yeah, there might not be enough Godzilla, but there's enough to basically call that a really good movie. And um, as for this movie, there's a lot more Godzilla action. And if this were the movie that I were to see when I was 12 years old, then I would end up loving this movie. But because there's so much focus shifted towards Godzilla here, it loses a lot more focus on the actual story itself. Like the story just doesn't have time to set up itself, nor does it really have time anywhere within the actual, you know, within the whole movie to justify it and expand on it more. And the movie's even more disappointing when the story can't even hold itself up and keep up like it did in the 2014 Godzilla movie. It's just a complete incoherent mess that really doesn't have a structure to it. Uh, this is there's just so much things that were forced into this movie left and right and it just comes off as an overblown mess and the characters here aren't all that good either since the story doesn't even take the time to set up itself neither is it going to take time to set up the characters we get a tad of backstory to our three main leads in this movie but that's about all we get about them and that's all we know about them for the whole movie and it just really makes these characters just lifeless and boring throughout the movie. And I just had a really hard time finding myself connecting or caring for these characters. 
And uh, but I will say the actors do a really good job. You know, uh, Millie Bobby Brown, she did a really great job. Uh, Vera Farmiga, she did a pretty good job as well. Cal Chandler, he did an okay job. Uh, he could have done much better, but he did an okay job. E everyone is pretty okay in this movie. Um, and they all do well and they serve their part to make this movie, uh, or, you know, they also serve their part to at least give a good performance in this movie, but they were just not particularly just given good characters to work with because, again, it just kind of felt like their talent was being wasted on boring characters. The movie does have a lot of questionable things, uh, you know, a lot of decisions that I thought were really stupid, and it really made this movie feel so light and not as mature as the first one was. Like, this movie actually felt a lot more lighter in comparison to the original movie, and it just really wanted us to take this movie serious, but it was just hard to take it serious because, because this movie is a little bit more lighter in tone. The movie kind of feels a lot more like a cartoon, and uh, I'm, I'm saying that. This movie kind of felt like a cartoon, especially in comparison to the first movie. Um, the writing isn't good either in this movie. There's some laughably bad dialogue that comes off as cheesy sometimes, so sometimes it just kind of gets the pass barely, but sometimes it's just unreasonably bad dialogue. Although there are some positives, of course, some of those positives coming from the actors, which I already discussed, and the action here is really, really, really damn good. Again, it's really impressive, and again, if you were to ask me what I want from a Godzilla or a Kaiju fight, this is what I would want. Um, so I was very satisfied with that Godzilla action scenes here. Um, and I did enjoy the first 25 minutes of this movie. Um, again, even though it didn't set up much for the story, I enjoyed where it was going at first. I really enjoyed that. Um, and the last 15 minutes of this movie obviously are just genuinely just enjoyable and they're good. And again, they're what I wanted from a Godzilla movie. Uh, the CGI is also really convincing and the VFX team definitely deserves some recognition from this movie because they did a really good job. Um, and again, I guess you could say where, that I kind of knew or I, you know, I knew where they wanted to take this story but it's just a huge step down from its predecessor. And if all you want from a Godzilla movie is some cool Godzilla action, if that's all you're looking for, then you're really gonna be satisfied with this movie. Otherwise, all you're getting is a incoherent, overblown mess of a movie with bland dual characters. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, some bad villains, some very cartoonish villains in this movie. And you're also gonna get some bad writing but again, there are some good things in this movie that I thought kind of balanced out the bad things about this movie. But overall, again, this was one of my most anticipated movies of the year, and I'm really disappointed. Uh, personally, I would recommend this movie on, uh, you know, I would recommend you guys to wait for this movie on Netflix or on Redbox. So with that being said, I'm going to give Godzilla King of Monsters a C. As for the 3D in this movie, I'll be honest with you guys, the 3D felt kind of flat. It's one of those movies where I forgot I was watching a movie in 3D, but the last 25 minutes of the movie do stand out with the Godzilla fight scenes. But overall, I don't think this is a movie that needs 3D necessarily, plus there are some dark scenes in this movie that are going to be really hard to watch with dimmed 3D glasses. So. I would, even though I didn't see it in IMAX, I could imagine that this is definitely a movie that you really want to watch in IMAX. But anyways, have you guys seen Godzilla King of Monsters? If you guys seen it, what did you guys think about it? Tell me in the comment section down below. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.